All right, it's July 4th as I'm recording this. If you've already seen my previous video, was sort of like an impromptu manifesto statement thingy. Just because I was mad at the way things were going in the world and would like to see America great again. Go Trump! Well, wake up this morning, I do a little tweeting for my other job that I have. First thing I get inundated with, hashtag America was never great. Are you kidding me? Okay. Thankfully, um, what looked like it was some left hard propaganda crap quickly got overrun because I'm having to scroll down pretty far in the America was never great to find all the anti-America comments in this uh, tweet thread. Most of it is uh, people getting on the leftist case and thankfully sh showing them the evidence that America is great. But again, greatness does not mean perfect. But we are a great nation. Let's figure out all the things that this nation is great for. One thing, a constitution that protects the right of the people against government. We have a singular document that dictates negative rights. And what is a negative right? Well, it is uh, what is imposed upon the government, what rights they do not have to inflict da uh, grief and anguish upon us, the people. Okay? You go to places like England. First world nation, completely illegal to defend yourself. You can be fear for your life because uh, someone has a gun in your face and says openly that they are going to murder you. You are not allowed to defend yourself in that situation. You are expected to let the murderer kill you rather than defend yourself. Uh, for the poor women who are raped in that country, they are expected to just let the a-hole do it rather than defend themselves. Uh, defend themselves against the second most horrible thing that can happen to you in life. First off, being murdered. Okay? And even then, it's sort of a flip-flop. Which one is worse, being murdered or having to live with that horrific rape experience your entire life? Okay? That is the two most horrible crimes that exist. Okay? And you're not allowed to defend yourself from them in that country. They repeatedly uh, arrest journalists for reporting on news that report on news that isn't, quote-unquote, the proper news. I just realized I just did air quotes in a audio podcast. No one's ever going to see that. But uh, continuing on from here, America is responsible for fighting back the Imperial Japanese during World War II, for fighting back Nazi Germany. I mean, if it wasn't for us, no, that there would be a lot more dead from World War II and a lot more grief and probably hundreds more, uh, or not hundreds more years, but probably quite a few more years of the Nazi regime. It was because of America that we pounded them into a pulp. Do we want to argue the morality of nuking Japan? No. Was that a mistake? Yeah, probably. But that still does not negate the greatness that we have today. It was a mistake that we need to fix and to avoid ever doing again. Okay? They are some going down through here, some bits about slavery in here. Remember, America did not invent slavery. That was a big, big, big um, economic thing that happened, going all the way back to the Roman Empire. And even if they didn't call it slavery, uh, slavery existed during the Dark Ages too. It continued. Um, and we imported it here, not because we won it, but because the British were still into slavery at the time. But remember, we fought a war, okay, North versus South, brother against brother, to eliminate slavery. Okay? We fought, uh, to eliminate slavery. We had women's suffrage in this country. We were one of the first ones to recognize women's universal rights equal to men. You go to other countries, Saudi Arabia, uh, as an example. And I don't, ironically, it seems like a lot of these other countries that still are very anti-women seem to be Muslim, but we'll get into that in another episode. Uh, I just say that here, so hopefully I'll get some really pissed off people and get a nice clickbait title um, in this video. But you have those countries that still oppress women, where women have to go to a bumper car rally in order to drive because it's illegal for them to sit behind the vehicle 
and drive in the streets in Saudi Arabia. Okay. We have America, which granted has one of the world's largest prison populations. And what's the problem with that? Well, the drug war is one of it, but the drug war itself was kind of forced upon us by the UN. If you look at the UN's policies on the drug schedules and the, uh, the history of the drug war, it's more of us trying to appease the UN. So it's more of the UN's fault for the drug war, which then led to mass incarceration of Americans. So let's put the blame here on where it deserves to go. We have a country that might not be the best tech wise in the world, but we have more patents per capita than any other country in the planet earth because we protect small business with our patent system. You want innovation. You come here to America. America also exports its culture everywhere. I mean, a lot of leftists or leftards would like to say that as a country, we don't have culture. Really? Hip hop, um, excuse me, video games, music, we all export this, uh, in general, or in general around the world. A lot of the world wants the stuff we produce. Even if we then subcontract it off to China, they still want what was originally an American idea. The world wants American TV shows. The world wants American music. The world wants American video games. That's culture. And plus, you just have to look for culture. Do we have any, like, national-level culture? I'm not sure what would qualify as that, but go to any town. You'll have a local culture that's from that town that you were local to. Okay? You will have foods, you will have unique eccentricities, you will have what is defined as culture in those areas. Just go looking around you, it's out there to be seen. The left is so concerned with saying that, oh, America doesn't have culture because we're too young a nation to have culture. Bullshit. You got enough culture, just look around you. Hell, uh, one culture we have is the fact that we put up with this leftist garbage. If you want to say that we don't have a culture, there's a culture right there. Thank you very much, leftists. You have, by arguing that America doesn't have a culture, you've provided a culture for America to have. Great job! But, so America is a great nation. I mean, granted, it's kind of overused, but... Thank a teacher if you can speak English. I'm trying to remember the phrase now. Sorry. It's, I believe it's, thank a teacher if you can write English. If you can write, thank a vet because you can write English. Okay? We are a great nation. And, to and we have a nation where lefts can wake up and tweet this garbage that America was never great. Okay? We have a country where they have a right to twist this garbage. We have a country where it is their right to spit on their father, uh, founding fathers. We have a country where it is their right to piss on the rights that they abuse and then say that we don't have. Okay? Please, stop with this America was never great garbage. And thankfully, and I just refreshed the page here, Thankfully, it looks like the, the right, which, remember, we're called the right because we are, uh, looks like has been finally tweeting enough to remind these people I've got another 139 to go through, and most of it is all pro-America, thankfully. So, I will get off my soapbox rant about having to wake up first thing on Independence Day, no less, to find this hashtag uh, trending, which thankfully I believe that's only trending because the right is now so upset at the left and is reminding these people why America is truly great. Thankfully, Paul Joseph Watson will be doing a video later on the stupidity of the America was never great hashtag, so I look forward to that. Please, if you believe America is great, hit the thumbs up button. If you do not, remember, we gave you the right to hit the thumbs down button.
Okay. If you'd like to be made aware of when more of these videos come out, please hit the subscribe button down below. Please go out there, shake a hand of a vet, scream from the pulpits and from the towers how great America is. Remind them that without America, they would not have the freedom to spout this garbage. Thank you. Have a good day. Get some hot dogs out there. Enjoy some fireworks where fireworks are legal, mind you. And go America.